Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kabbalah Space Program. <laughs> My name is Chris and today we're going to be using two mods uh, known as the Biodomes mod and the Stanford Tauruses mod. Both these mods are made by the exact same creator known as Michael Hester 7 Well done Michael for these amazing mods that both work off each other. And as you can see, this is just complete insanity. What is going on? I, I was just baffled at this point. So, if you're wondering why there are so many stability enhancers, it's because I tried to launch these parts, and but I wanted them to just be stable, right? Not move, just be stable so then I could magically teleport them into space. But, well, that doesn't exactly happen because as you can see, everything is now broken. And originally everything was connected. So, yeah, there are some problems like that when it comes to the connection. And with this mod, there is a recommendation, well, it's sort of the something that you should be using, uh, some necessary mods that should that work with this mod. You have to use the exoplanetary launch pads, and it says here necessary for building the Taurus in orbit. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Keithane, Keithane mod, this does integrate with the Keithane mod. FS Hangar Extender, which is a cool mod, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that mod soon enough. Hangar extender, ugh, oh, the use for that, damn. Uh, act active texture management, what does that do? Recommended for systems with limited memory or lots of mods. Ah, now that's another interesting mod I'm gonna get my hands on too. Hmm. Yeah, use that guys. <laughs> Although, that's only if you have, as it says, limited memory on your computer. So if you have a pretty hardcore computer, you should be alright with this mod. I was okay, but wasn't really lagging much until something bad happened. Yeah, well, let's say, well, like, something like this does cause lag. <laughs> and look at the, look at the damage. Damn. That's insane. Now, each, each parts, each part has, like, a different function. Uh, we have a cargo bay, we have a docking bay, and if you notice, there's this, uh, like, a blue color. A blue color where the it's like a sphere. Yeah, that thing's a docking bay. And... Interesting, right? Well, one of them is docking. The other one is the... Uh, the launch pad. Basically, a weed launch pad. <laughs> weed cutter launch pad. And we also have a, uh, a station fuel tank, which is just this huge object. Uh, you may be wondering what we're placing down right now. In fact, I'm trying to find it. What's it called? What is it called? It's probably called the Station Science Module, I'm just guessing, <laughs> that's probably what it is. Because we have a whole lot of these halo rings. And at this one here, this station that I've made right here, at least that doesn't smash. And I was easily able to teleport that into space using the amazing Hyper Edit, my favorite mod. <laughs> and there we go, Hyper Edit for the win guys. And it's still working, Hyper Edit never has to be updated, it's basically invulnerable. So cool. And we're back here again, and I think I was going to launch this. Yeah, I was going to take this into space as well. And look at that, it's just sinking into the ground. How weird is that? It's sinking, and here we go. Here we are, that's quite huge, eh? Just like an actual Halo ring from the Halo. Hmm. I reckon you could modify this to be just like the Halo ring in Halo. <laughs> Although the size is very different. And guys, for the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me in KSP, Absolute weirdest, this takes the cake. Uh, Kerbin is dead. Well, it's gone supernova. <laughs> well, I don't know what I don't know what's going on right now. The it's either the mod did something or just KSP stock did something to the I have no idea what happened. Just like what's happening? What is happening? Kerbin is dead. That is Kerbin, by the way, I, I checked. But I don't know, I guess the texture is all messed up for some reason. That wasn't like that before. I mean, we just saw it like a couple seconds ago. And it gets even weirder. Even weirder. <laughs> That's Kerbin, right? See, I was testing there. I pressed M. So we're testing. And the station. The station looks really good, eh? A good size. It's quite big, actually. Very big. And, yep, yeah, there we go. So the texture is like on one part of the planet and the rest is just white. Because it's about to explode. <laughs> Oh, that'd be cool if it did explode. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. And here we go, guys. Like, what is happening right now? K 
Kerbin is shrinking. It's not like we're going far further away from Kerbin. I don't know. It's texture. Someone explain this to me. What is happening? It's like compressing and then... Boof. It's gonna expand? Yes. Expanding. <laughs> That's so weird. I've never seen that happen before. Again, this really does take the cake. As the number one weirdest thing that's ever happened. And I barely did anything to make it do that. <laughs> I did nothing! I just launched this thing, that's all I did. Weirdness. Absolute weirdness. Yeah. Anyway, at this point we're just gonna check out a few of the... We're gonna do a few close-ups. And if you notice, that's a whole bunch of uh, plants. I think that's corn. I looked at it closely, I do think that's corn. Someone someone confirm with me if that is corn or not. And that is, that. I think that's known as the biodome farm. A large farm enclosed in a biodome. <laughs> yeah. And again, this is a halo ring inside the ring. How cool, right? There's trees, magical trees, well done. <laughs> Another thing here, wait, let me try and, this is a station science module, I think. I mentioned that before. It should be the station science module or the station habitat module. There are so many modules in this game or in this mod. It's crazy. Mm. And the reason why I'm showing this mod, not other mods, is because really, this mod really just, it stands out. And clearly, a lot of effort has been put into this mod. A lot of effort, and it, it really does deserve the, what I would call, the promotion. <laughs> anyway guys, the video is almost done. And just for the final end part, we're going to take a look at Jebediah's little picture on the monitor there. If you take a look, it's hard to zoom in, because the whole station's moving around. But you try and tell me what that says, eh? Jebediah survives another explosion. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to use this mod, links in the description. Take care, and see you later. Bye.